Yes. We begin tonight with the 10 employees working for San Diego Community College who are at risk of losing their jobs because they refuse to get vaccinated. KOSI's Lindsay Fucano, she's following this story for us. She's live tonight in Mission Valley with more. Good evening, Lindsay. Good evening. Good evening, Hunter. Good evening, Rafer. A San Diego Community College officially terminating three of their employees for refusing to get vaccinated. This decision just coming in at 4 p.m. Now, this is all due to religious exemptions, which have been approved by the district. And we're taking a look at video right now of that board meeting underway. And again, at San Diego Community College District, uh, 4 p.m., three out of 10 employees, a professor, a lab technician, and a counselor officially terminated after being on sick and then paid administrative leave for about a year. This is all for choosing not to get vaccinated. Their religious exemptions were approved by San Diego Community College District, and we have interviewed all three of these terminated employees, all of them with the district for eight to 20 years, and they tell us they cannot believe this is happening. What strikes me as the craziest is that um, the students are not required to be vaccinated. Um, so as a student, I could actually enroll in a class that typically I would prep. I could be in that class as a student in a full room, full classroom, no problem. But I have been denied an accommodation to actually prep that class alone in an empty classroom. Somehow that's an undue hardship, but it would be totally okay if I was a student. I could be in there with 23 other students and an instructor. This is the only district in Southern California that is actually terminating employees that have religious exemptions. Um, Grossmont accommodates, uh, you know, Grossmont, Cuyamaca, um, Orange County, Northern Orange County accommodates. Um, those are the only two that are coming to mind right now. But we have data on several community college districts in Southern California, and this is the only one trying to fire you. Now, we did get a quote from the district who says the San Diego Community College District Board of Trustees is committed to the health and safety of its 100,000 students and 5,000 employees. This commitment has guided the development of the district's COVID-19 protocols. In implementing these policies, all employees have been afforded their legal rights to exemptions and reasonable accommodations based on their medical condition and or religious beliefs. Any employee subject to discipline for noncompliance with the district's health and safety requirements has been given due process under the law. The district remains proud of its employees' efforts to promote a healthy and safe learning environment. Now, this decision all coming on the heels of other organizations, other worldwide organizations doing away with their vaccination mandates, including, this is including the... Um, uh, this is following a decision by the White House where vaccination mandates are no longer in effect and companies like um, certain sectors of the military have adhered to non-compliance, uh, this non-conforming to any mandate. So, so again, it's becoming increasingly common for bigger companies to not enforce any kind of mandates whatsoever. And this decision made by San Diego Community College District, very controversial, given the fact that these employees, they've been with the district for nearly two decades, 10, uh, one decade, two decades, eight to 20 years. So these are longtime employees that have been with the district. And uh, again, as you just heard from the, that soundbite, well, they, they just can't believe um, this is actually happening to them. We'll have more coming up at six from a counselor who's also been with the district for 20 years, and we'll tell you what he had to say as well. In the meantime, let's send it back to you guys in the studio. This is certainly a story that seems to have a lot of questions here. Lindsay. We look forward to it in the next hour. Thanks so much.